What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Copart walk around. Last one of the week, boys and girls. I want to give a big shout out to Copart here for allowing me to do this. I appreciate all the guys and gals in here that uh, make all this happen. I want to give a big shout out to all of you for watching. Now let's now let's jump into it. Let's get started. First on my list, the 2012 Ford Fusion. Now you can go ahead and comment below and tell me what you think happened, and I'll tell you after we do a walk around what I think happened. Uh, we got marks all over from the insurance company man i mean lots of marks and they all say polish polish giant hole in the windshield i mean that is massive something really scraped across the side of that lots i mean just everywhere everywhere scratches all over the whole car man now you're not polishing that out whoo Man. You know, maybe I thought I had an idea of what happened to this, but I might, maybe I'm wrong. Just such random damage all over the car. Everywhere. Now, the truth of the matter is, if you were to wipe off all of these uh, outlines, all these little chalk markings or, or grease pin, whatever it is, markings, wipe all this off, give the car a thorough polish and wax it's gonna shine it's gonna look real good there's gonna be a few areas that you're not gonna clean up with polish obviously but it's gonna come out looking really well this is a used car a very used car this is an older car with 120 some thousand miles on it all right it does not have to be perfect and this is one that i, I believe this is probably storm damage we've had a lot of high winds recently we've had a lot of flooding and this this could be debris from high winds we had winds that ripped roofs off of buildings out here ripped giant trees out of the ground you know about three four weeks ago and those vehicles that were damaged are going to start coming through the auction um, right now so i would i would guess that this is this is storm damage it's an older ford fusion and it's you know 125,000 miles I don't think anybody's going to be looking to buy this car and expect it to be perfect. Oh, I was really hoping the first car of the day would start. I really was. Hey, the good thing about this gaping hole is, though, there's like natural air conditioning blowing right through here. It actually feels really good sitting right here. It's sitting at just the right angle. Uh, it'll need some serious cleaning. It's going to need some very serious cleaning. It's rained a lot since then water has gotten into the cabin so it's going to need a very thorough cleaning let's see here um vehicle blah 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 next service was 318 of 19 next service was due at 117 7. hmm rotate and balance your tires over 6,000 miles okay let's pop the hood see what it looks like under there it says it's a run and drive and i don't see any reason that it wouldn't all this damage is just superficial cosmetic stuff it's got nice leather interior <sighs> come on ford where did you put the hood release there we go oh boy that battery though Whew. yeah this thing is clean the coolant is still that uh that nice orange color I'm just going to I'm going to close the hood. I don't want to waste a lot of time on this car. But honestly, I think this is a good one. You know, you clean this thing up, put a windshield in it, and this is going to be a really nice looking car for somebody. That should be an easy flip. No brainer for me. Here we got a 2013 Dodge Ram. And although it does look pretty rough, I haven't seen the other side. There's definitely suspension damage right here that I can see. The fender is crunched, the door is crunched, the door is crunched. Little tiny bit of damage looks like to the bed over there this door does it close it does it doesn't close well but it closes we have damage anywhere to the a pillar i don't see damage to the a pillar that doesn't mean there's not damage just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not damaged the rocker down here is just trashed man this is a little worse than i thought it was that's why you got to come out here and check them out man it's always worth taking a trip out to your local yard and having a peek to get a better idea of what's going on now this side looks pretty good a couple good size dents right here aside from that though the rest of the truck actually looks pretty good this wheel is turned out to the right just a hair 
and this one is not this one is actually turned the opposite direction out to the left so definitely got some suspension damage fender door door rocker 78,000 miles on the clock Let's see sniff test it smells good it does this one smells good that doesn't happen very often uh, the key is left in the ignition and it doesn't run I hate that but what are you gonna do right I mean, we know it's got the 5.7. Let's take a peek under the hood here, see what everything looks like. I'm kind of in a rush now. I got to get out of here. Auction's about to start, and I need to leave. It's got an interstate battery. I think that's an interstate. It looks like an interstate battery to me. I don't see any leaks. Looks pretty clean, dusty, but clean. Yeah, so it's definitely a rebuildable truck for somebody, just not for me. For all of you that have wondered what my first car was, I can't believe I found it, but this is it. Uh, mine was, I, I think mine was an 89, but this is a 1990 Ford Tempo, and this was my first car. Um, keep in mind, this is back in 1996 or 97, so it wasn't too old of a car. Yeah, this looked, and mine was a GL as well. It looked just like it. I had the same wheels, the same tail lights. As the cars got newer, they made like an Oklahoma pattern on the uh, the back lights here. It's kind of crazy running into your first car at Copart, you know what I mean? Excuse the wind noise, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. There's not much I could do. But if you ever wondered what Randy's first car was, is a Ford Tempo GL. has a 2.3 liter. And honestly, a solid motor. Uh, seriously, th this is, wow. Well, it's been sitting a minute, hadn't it? Good golly. Yeah. <laughs> a little 2.3 liter. I remember having to replace fuel lines. I remember having to place a, replace a lot of things on that car, actually. But you know what? I was hard on it, and that car got me through. It's got clean oil, and it's full. It's listed as a non-runner. You don't know how badly I would like to buy this. It's not worth anything. I mean, it's not going to sell for anything on Copart. I guarantee you that. And it wouldn't sell on the street for anything either. The cars, uh, it's this is this is one car that is truly worthless. It's absolutely worthless. Look at this. This car has been sitting a very long time, very long time. It's not going to run. Uh, you may be able to start it with starting fluid, but she's not going to run. Fuel system is going to be done. Whoa! I had this problem too. The tilt strips out down here where'd it go there's a tilt lever somewhere i can't remember where it is there it is there it is yeah i had this problem on mine too <laughs> oh the memories are coming back the old push button heater mine were sticky so you had to really sometimes you had to push them uh two or three times <laughs> there's something about sitting in your first car you know you remember when you were a teenager right i know it's not going to start or anything no batter i'm just turning the key just just all for uh the memories man headlight restore yeah <laughs> betty boop man the memories though right power locks manual windows i really would almost buy this just uh just for the sake of it you know just to have it try to get it run and maybe drive it down the road one more time yeah, it takes me back. I had a lot of fun in that car. I really did. Boy, I miss being a teenager. Here's a good one, an 08 Ford F350. Uh, too bad it's not the diesel. This is a Super Duty. Uh, I believe it's an old AT&T truck. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's an AT&T truck. F350, Super Duty. It's got a lot of rust back here. This bed for me would be completely worthless. I have no use for a, uh, for a utility bed like this. Good night, man. Look at all the stuff. Okay, I can't open all that. This thing probably still has a lot of stuff left in it. And a lot of it doesn't even want to open. It must be locked. I think they have some kind of a lock on these. Hopefully the key comes with it. <laughs> yeah, it's all locked up. Uh, yeah, this thing is a monster. It's a beast, but it's also gas. And uh, 110,000 miles, I mean, it's low miles, especially for an at and an AT t truck. Which is what concerns me about it being here. Why is it for sale? Why is it for sale with only 100,000 miles on it? You know what I mean? Oh, she's dead? Uh, yeah, she's dead. 
Well, darn. Yeah, ATT trucks are generally well-serviced vehicles. You know, these are ones that you don't have to worry too much about, um, usually. But when it comes to the Fords and their... <laughs> I'm sorry, Ford guys. But the uh, the Triton motor, man, I just... Uh, I don't have a lot of faith in it. Where is the uh, Where is the hood release on this thing? Folks, can anybody tell me? I think it's down here somewhere. I don't know. Over here? Ugh. Come on, there we go. There we go. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Comment below. What do you think, man? What do you think? It's going cheap. It's going real cheap. It's sitting at like a thousand bucks right now. Like I said, it's the it's the five four. And this should be this is a three valve. If I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive it's gonna be a three valve. Check down in there. What does that look like? I don't know, man. All those timing chain issues on these really does concern me. What is this? What does that go to? An extra coolant tank? Somebody comment. Tell me what that extra tank right there is for. That's interesting. It almost looks like a supercharger tank, you know? Uh, but this is not supercharged. So, yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think. I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in this. I absolutely don't need it, and it would serve no purpose. I have no use for this truck. There's nothing I could think of that I could even begin to use this truck for. Uh, not, not with the bed that's currently on it. But it's so dang cheap, like a thousand bucks. That's insane, and it's a pure sale. So it's going to sell to the high bidder. <sighs> Comment below. Tell me what you think. How about a 2018 GMC Sierra All-Terrain? I have no idea why this is here other than it's listed as vandalism. Look at the tires on this. This truck looks brand new. Am I, am I wrong? I mean, I'm not lying here. It looks brand new. No battery. Listed as a no start. No odometer. Now, I haven't popped the hood yet. I'm wondering if maybe it doesn't have an engine or... Oh, wow. There's a seat that's been pulled out. Yeah, somebody paid to have a nice seat cover put on. Probably to protect it from uh, animals. Definitely got some wiring that's been opened up here. Oh yeah, the underside of the dash has been opened up. Uh, let's pop the hood. Oh, this thing looks brand spanking new. That's unbelievable. Still has the engine. And it has the battery. It says no battery on it. It's got a battery. Interesting. It's so listed as a non-runner. And no battery, no odometer. The fluids are all still clean, including the brake fluid. Brake fluid is clean. There's a battery cover right there. This is very bizarre. It is listed as a vandalism vehicle. I don't get it. I don't see any vandalism. The motor's there. It looks good. Tires look good. It's got keys in it. I do see that somebody's been into the fuse boxes. So, something's been going on in there. Ah, dang it. I wanted to see what the other side looked like back here. See if we can open this door up. Can I reach it? Oh, the lock is way back there. Let's see if I can just... No, this door doesn't open at all. Not from the inside or the outside. Let's see. Can you see back there? I can't see anything. I wonder what's going on back there. Side pillars have been pulled out by the airbag over there, too. Very bizarre truck. Very bizarre. I can't help but wonder what the deal is with this. Feel free to comment below. Tell me what you think happened to the truck. There shouldn't be anything mechanically wrong with it. Here we have a 2009 F-250 Super Duty. If this is really what it looks like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die here, man. Uh, this is $1,900 by it now. Listed as a run and drive. It's not an insurance car either. It's not listed as an insurance claim, not salvage. Damage to the bed back here. A little damage to the bumper. But $1,900? 
Are you kidding me? I just paid four grand plus fees out the door for my 99 F250. Now I'm sure this is not a diesel. I can't remember for sure or not, but I don't think this is a diesel. 233,000 miles. Most likely it's gonna have that infamous Triton. While we're here, let's see if we can fire it up though. Let's put the key in it. Oh, nothing. Yeah, nothing at all. Well, dang. Sorry if I can't hear it run. At least not on something like this. I can't uh, can't bid on it. Where is the dang hood release? Is it down here still on this one, or did they move it somewhere else? Boy, that's that's the bumper's dented, and it's very hard to get to the the hood release on this one. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can get to this one, folks. Okay, I can't open the hood. I'm sure it's the 5.4. Dang, no, 1900 bucks, and it's listed as a run and drive? That's insane. Like, that is a steal, man. That is a damn good deal right there. We're almost to the end. Another Land Rover Range Rover. Ah, an 05 Land Rover Range Rover. This is listed as a run and drive. It's listed as a repossession. Look at those Michelins. Golly, and those rims. It looks like somebody spent a little bit of money on it. She's clean. Okay, well that was a Michelin. This is a Bridgestone. And this is a Continental. Okay, looks like we got a lot of mismatched tires. The interior doesn't look too bad. It's pretty decent. It smells good. Dash uh, speaker is coming off a little bit. Let's throw that back on there. It's listed as a run and drive though, so let's see. Uh, no? Uh, something's going on here because we've got power. I can see lights all lit up and everything. And the steering is. What is going on? Is there some trick to getting a Land Rover started? You're kidding me. This thing's got power. But I can't get the key to turn. The seats work. Things are working. But you go to put you go and you put the key in. Uh I see the key works here. Whatever this is, glove box or something, it works fine there. But in the ignition, she's a no-go. They had it running in the pictures, though, so I don't know. I'll fiddle around with it a minute. If we can't get it going, then we'll skip this one. All right, I've been fighting with it. I can't get the key to turn, so we're just uh, we're going to skip this one and move on to the next one. Last one on the list, an 06 BMW 330 for $3,500. Buy it now. Yes, buy it now for $3,500. 149,000 miles on the odometer. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty clean car, to be honest with you. I like it. And this came from the same place that my F250 diesel came from. So, you know, I can't tell you that's a good thing or a bad thing, but the F250 turned out to be a runner and driver. It's just a repossession. So this one may very well also be a dealer repo. $3,500 clean up the headlights man and whew, with any luck you're good to go assuming the transmissions get oh it's a stick oh hell no wait a minute wait a minute i didn't know it was a stick shift okay hold on that changes things i thought this was an automatic <laughs> i thought this was an auto Oh, tell me not to buy it. Tell me not to buy it. Service engine soon. Tire pressure monitor. <laughs> Let's put it in gear. Let's let off the uh, let off the brake. Yeah, she goes forward. Let's put it in reverse. Yeah, she goes backward. 
Let's put it in fifth gear and see if the clutch is slipping with the e-brake on just a little bit. Give it a little gas. Nah, clutch is not slipping. Clutch is strong, man. Clutch is strong. Steering feels good. Air conditioning is cold. Whew. I'm gonna take a peek under the hood real quick. I thought this was an automatic. This was for sale last week and I stayed away from it because I thought it was an auto and I was like, well, I might have some transmission problems. Uh, no, I don't think so. This is clean. I don't see any leaks. I don't see anything spewing out from under the hood. Looks like the valve cover gasket was replaced at some point. It's very clean and orange. Of course, it could be that way from factory. You Beamer folks will have to chime in on that. That's definitely aftermarket uh, clamps. I can tell you one thing. The air conditioning is running and it's ice cold, but the fan is not running. So does this have a secondary fan? It doesn't look like it does. That fan should be running. This car may have an overheating issue. And if it does, maybe the car lot just tried to, you know, get rid of it because they thought there was something serious. But with the AC running, you can hear the compressor kicking on and off. That fan should be running. And it is not. That could be an easy fix. Truly. Yeah. What do you think, guys? You think $3,500 is a good deal or you think it's a bad deal? She's a good looking car, man. But I mean, I got too many cars as it is. I really do. I really do. I don't need any more. I need to get rid of something before we go picking up any more. But I really like this. I think as a six speed, this car would be a lot of fun to drive, man. A zippy little car. Sun shades are all up. Look at that. There you go. See that? Clean interior. It smells good. It looks nice. Well, I can tell you this. If we leave it sitting here idling, she is going to... Uh, She's gonna overheat without a doubt. There's no way that it's gonna be able to stay cool without a cooling fan running. So we're gonna shut it off, take the key out, put it back in gear. I'm gonna think on this one. I, to me, this feels like a, a spectacular deal. This feels like an amazing deal for this car. It could be. So comment below and tell me what you think. And that concludes this week's walk around, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great Saturday. Yeah, this comes out Saturday. <laughs> it's hot. I'm tired, man. I'm sorry. It's, yeah, for you guys, it's Saturday. For me, it's still auction day. So comment all your thoughts below. Give this video a like if you enjoy the content. Don't forget to please share the video with your friends. Share on social media. It really helps a lot. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And uh, we'll see if we pick something up this week. Probably not, but if something goes for a good price, you can bet I'm going to be on top of it. Stay safe out there, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you all very, very soon in the next one.